All right, so we have self delusion. Oh gosh. We have stringing along. Oh my God. We have risk. And we have, okay, so two wanted to flip over. Mm, we have gossip. What is this about? All right, we're gonna. Somebody could be hearing something about, somebody maybe thinks you're sleeping with somebody else. Are they hearing something? Rumors? I don't know. We're gonna see. Tell me more. Perilous. Somebody's holding back. Somebody's been holding back, but with that risk energy there, they may come in and kind of spill the beans. Like I almost get this energy of somebody coming in and laying a lot on you, or they've been holding back for a long time. They're going to come in and have a lot to say to you. All right. Yeah. Didn't I just, wow. Yeah. It says breaking point, losing emotional strength on the verge. Somebody's at that point where they're not able to hold back from you any longer. You were maybe dealing with somebody that was being delusional. Didn't I say that somebody's maybe like they're, they're maybe thinking something or they're hearing something. Somebody has like had some type of um, delusion, like they were thinking something or they had a, an opinion, a view of something that was not true or not. It was an illusion. It was not real. They were lying to themselves. They didn't want to come to terms with something. They were, they were being delusional. And it maybe has something to do with like, they maybe thought that they had like a hold on you with the stringing along energy. Somebody maybe thought that um, they had a hold on you. Um, they had some type, some type of like false hope about you or about a situation or like they thought that like there was still like you guys were like tethered to each other or something like that. We'll see what's going on here. I just heard somebody just thought that, that you still wanted them. That's what I just heard. Somebody thought you still wanted them. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Mm -mm. so what was this this is already interesting what was the delusion spirit what was this person or the whoever who was delusional and about what see they thought somebody thought you guys were gonna have a future together <laughs> sorry guys it's just like somebody thought you guys are gonna be together that they you guys would have a future together that you would choose them or that they could choose you later or that things would be taken to the next level with you guys yeah, like this person thought that it was hard for you to resist them. It's hard for you to stay away from them. They thought that they like, yeah, captured by love. Like this person thought that they had you, okay? They thought that they had a hold on you. And that at some point you guys would be together in some type of commitment. Um, What about sacrifice? Somebody has to like, somebody has like some type of addiction or something. What does this mean for this person? Love offer? What does this mean for the collective okay maybe there was something that both of you needed to give up yeah there's something that you both need to give up so that you can have a new cycle yeah because i see going in circles and what is that the divorce card or no abundance maybe both of you guys need to maybe hmm there's something that needs to be given up i feel like spirit is saying that um you and this person have been repeating a cycle going in circles things were not progressing between you and this person you always ended up in the same spot. And it's like, Spirit says you guys both have like some type of bad habits, destructive behaviors, addictions, whatever it is that you guys needed healing. There could have been healing that needed to be done. But it's it's on both ends. It's not just them and it's not just you, okay? Um, yeah, love offer. This person's like, needs to give up something so that you guys can have this new cycle. There's things that needed to be healed or worked on before you guys could have some type of like new beginning. Yeah. And have stability. Tell me about love offer for this person. See this person's, this person needs to open their heart to you if they want to be with you, because look at them. They're in this closed heart energy, unav emotionally unavailable, avoiding intimacy. So it's, what else? Let me one more card about that. Ghosting. Maybe this part, what does this have to do with the collective? True love. Why they, did they ghost or what did they do? Timing. So there was like something that happened where you guys, so there was like an ending of all communication. Like this person, okay. I also, this person feels like things are over. That's what I keep getting. Yeah, go, no closure and timing. They felt like in, in the right time, the two of you would be together. But with that self-delusion energy, I don't think that, you want this person anymore. You're starting to, how is, um, they still have a lot of passion for you, but they're not, they've been not wanting to open their heart to you. They, 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 
it's like they slowly want to do it or they were thinking like eventually they get to the point where they would be able to open their heart to you and then they'll come in with this love offer but how does um the collective feel about this person you're being protective how does collect how does the collective feel divorce you just feel like how does the collective feel about them? you're focusing on yourself yeah you're single you feel like things are very complicated with this person you could have been dealing with a married person you feel like you've you've sacrificed a lot dealing with this person. You feel like being with them was like very costly. All right, one more card about how the collective is feeling about this person. Yeah, you feel like you've had some type of shift in perspective about this person. And now all that time that this person thought that they had to come in and open their heart to you and whatever, they're running out of time, okay? What is this, what is this shift in perspective? What is this shift in perspective that they had about this person? Yeah, it's like you just feel like it's been very painful with this person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to get more clarity about it, but it's like there is true love here. This person just thinks that you are like, even that there's, un you have unconditional love for them. This is one of those people I feel like that thought like, that since you had, that you had such a strong love for them or that there was such a strong connection between the two of you that you would maybe have unconditional tolerance for them, okay? Um... They thought that this bond was unbreakable. Like they thought that this was something that would never go away, that you would never get over them, that you would always be there, that eventually you guys are going to end up together. And, and, and even if you guys do spend some time apart or you, you know, you guys stop talking, you would always come back or there would always be an opportunity for you guys to get back together. All right. But because they've been holding back. They have a fear of holding, falling in love. They feel like they feel like it's risky. You guys both have like fears of like maybe truly opening yourselves up to one another um but they've definitely been holding back but yeah you got some type of shift in perspective you guys may feel like this person is manipulative you guys are trying to attract better you might maybe feel like this is a lesson learned with this person um and i feel like now you're trying to manifest better for yourself by focusing on yourself um So give me more about the collective's point of view of this person. Oh, well, we have the Twin Flame card coming out. So you do feel an intense connection to them, but you guys are standing your ground with them. Yeah, you're standing your ground. See, there's that gossip energy that came out earlier. Mm. What about gossip? What does that mean for the collective new cycle? What does this mean for this person? What about abundance? What about abundance? What is this about? What, what's abundance mean to them? Uh, they, what do they have a choice between? Toxic? Wow, it's like this person knows that by choosing you, that they know that you're very abundant. I don't know. It's almost like this person knows that by being with you, their whole life will change. And not for the worse, for the better. Like they feel like you're very abundant. They feel like you're very financially in, uh, independent. But they're just still... They, they're, they, they're still like not making up their mind about this. Maybe they're trying to find their financial independence before they want to come towards you. They have a fear of making the wrong decision. What is their other option? If it's not the collective, what are they trying to choose between? I don't know. Maybe they are afraid you have options. I, or maybe they're starting to become unsure about this relationship or and like they've been indecisive, but I feel like you guys are maybe doing well without them. They have this like fear of losing you here. Why? Why are they afraid of losing you? Because something that happened in the past or they're stuck on past situations. They're intimidated by you for sure. Why are they afraid that they're going to lose? They feel like you're starting something new. They know that you're no longer. Yeah, you. They, why are they starting to feel like this is like a, a done deal? They're starting to realize that they've been being delusional. They thought that they could just take their time. They thought that they could just come back when they wanted to. Why are they thinking that this is over now? It's something about you guys be spending some time apart. They want proof though. What are they, what is, what is, why does this person think it's done? They're, they feel like now, it could be because you guys, your money is looking so good. You're looking good. Your money's like, you're doing very well. Now they feel like they desire you, but they can't come near you. But I don't really see why. Why? 
They just feel like you're letting them go, but why though? I don't know guys. I just see, keep seeing them feel like you're letting them go, but they still feel an intense connection to you. All right. But you feel that too, but you guys are standing your ground here. There's like gossip or something that you've maybe started something new or they're like talking to worried others will talk. Gossiping. Somebody's talking about you. They're maybe telling somebody that they think you're dating somebody new or that you're building something new. Yeah, it, because you're not. They're like telling somebody or somebody's maybe telling them like, wow, if they haven't heard you probably if you haven't heard from them in that long, then, you know. That, that probably means that they've, they've, they're dating somebody new. They started something new with somebody else. There's something about gossip. Something that maybe they're hearing or that they're seeing. We need more clarity on the gossip aspect. Clarify gossip. They're strategizing. They're trying to talk to somebody and figure out how to come towards you or approach you. They feel stuck. Maybe they feel they see angry. They're triggered, but they feel stuck. What about forever change? Waiting. They're still hoping and waiting that um, they're not taking action. They're still hoping that you will come towards them. Waiting on what? What about, see, maybe they're worried waiting for something with work. Or maybe you guys are just, if you, some of you guys may not be over this person, but you're not taking any action towards them until they've changed. Like you guys know. Spirit says you're on the right track by falling back. You guys have like come into a new self or you're coming into a new self. You're just focusing on work. Um, if you chase this person, you're not chasing them anymore. You're being very strategic with this person. You know you're not chasing them anymore. Like tell me more about how um, the collective views this person. Maybe you're talking to people about them. Yeah, maybe you're talking to people and telling them, like, you know, you're talking to your friends, getting advice or something. Um, well, how is the collective seeing this person? Or what are they doing here? See, I told you, work. You're just focused on work. You're not focusing on this person. You're, you're tired of this re repeated cycle. Yeah, what about apology, separation, extravagant gestures? This is me for the collective. You're just hiding your emotions right now. It's like you're kind of just ignoring them or... Hmm. You're kind of mysterious at this time. You feel like if this person loves you, like that's how you guys are viewing this. You feel like if this person love, truly loves you, they'll come in and try to make this up to you. Like you feel like this is a test of their love for you. Like if they really love you like they say they do, you can shift your focus away from them and you can fall back. Um, and because you feel like this person isn't changing, they're not learning any lessons, but you feel like they'll come in and they'll confess your, their feelings to you. They'll come in and fix this or try to rebuild this with you. They'll do anything. Extravagant gestures. Yeah, They'll come in and make a gesture from the heart um, that they'll show you with their actions that they'll make it up to you. Because right now, this person's been avoiding you or ignoring you or running from this connection. So not wanting to, to be completely open and honest and vulnerable about their feelings for you. So I feel like you guys are just like, well, if they love me, you know, they'll come in and fight for me or they'll, they'll make those sacrifices um yeah like extra like i just show that like you feel like this person will really fight for you they'll go out of their way um to really make it up to you give more clarity on what's going on Clarity on what's going on with this person, the, the, the collective person. So they're still like kind of figuring themselves out. They're trying to like feel like I feel like try to manifest you. Bougie. Mm. See, they're salty though. Why are they salty? They're in their feelings. Wow, guys, this person's pissed. It's like all of a sudden, okay, so maybe this person at some point was feeling like they were okay. And then all of a sudden, now they're being so, why is that? Why are they upset now? Because they found out something. There's something here about something that they're hearing. 
So, okay, so that's what's shifting everything. This person. Something juicy, hidden truth, disclosing information, slander, gossip, shocking, untrustworthy. Something is making this person lose their shit that they're seeing or that they're hearing. Tell me more about this. See? Okay, so it's something that they're seeing on your, your social media. They thought that they were doing okay. They thought that... They, they said this person was almost trying to act like they were okay when they weren't. It says creating an image of wealth or upper class status, but not really. Or like, in a, it wasn't even just that. It just this person maybe has been just hitting the gym. They thought that they were like, okay. Like they thought that they were like, tell me about spiritualists for this person. This person has been trying to almost like, this person is trying to almost like be like better than you or try to mimic you or try to act like, especially, you know, cause you guys are spiritual. So it's like, maybe they've been even looking into spirituality. It says wanting what someone else has. Like somebody is uh, is pissed. It's not, like somebody does not like how you're able to manifest like whatever you put your mind to. You've created, you're able to live like this, like they feel in their eyes, like this amazing life, this lavish life. You, you're able to buy the food, the things you want. You're able to, you know, eat out. Like, I don't know what it is. There's something here. Subtly expressing jealousy, what you're trying to attain. This person is jealous of your like your ability to manifest things and your ability to make a beautiful life for yourself. Like because this person doesn't feel like they are capable, but they're not able to do that in the same way that you are. Like they're they're maybe seeing you live your best life. Like they're seeing you be blessed. They're seeing you like they feel like you're very lucky. They're not seeing that, you know, you probably worked your ass off for what you had. You know what I mean? But they just feel like, you know, you're able to manifest anything. They just, they know that you're spiritual. I feel like they're, they've been trying to maybe level up. Um, but, but they haven't, they, yeah. It says to announce, to not announce something, to treat with little emphasis, secretly not show a hidden info. You guys aren't giving this person any they thought that maybe this person maybe tried to get a reaction out of you. They thought that maybe if they just like laid low and they, they pulled back their energy, they stopped talking to you and they made it seem like they were losing interest in you and that maybe they were better off without you. That, you know, you would come in and be very like, you would, you would come in and you would be chasing them and you they would get some type of dramatic reaction out of you. But... I feel like it's the opposite effect. Like this person's been trying to act like they're okay without you, that they're happy without you. They maybe haven't been telling the full truth. They are talking about you to people. They haven't been telling the full truth. They've been sugarcoating things. They haven't been really telling the, the whole truth about why you're not talking to them and why you let them go. They're trying to make themselves look better than they actually are. But now that you're really, you're not even give, you're not, maybe normally you guys would come in and like fight for them or chase them or something. You're not doing it. You're really, you stop talking to them. They're and they're and like while you're not talking to them, they're watching you and they see you living like this amazing life. Like they see you like living a great life without them. You're happy, you're moving on. Like they maybe even see you posting like spiritual things. And like you're just you're being very positive at this time. Like, and it's making this person lose their shit. Clarify extra. Yeah, bye, Felicia. They're about to come in because, and if you guys, if they just say this person does reach out to you. You're going to probably dismiss this person. And you're not going to even care. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Maybe this person just, they would always leave you and they didn't care how that made you feel. They would dismiss you. They act like they didn't care. They act like they didn't when they left you or when you broke up that they didn't care about you. They, but I'm telling you, it says a goodbye for now. They didn't think this was permanent. They tried to like act like they, you know what, whatever, I'm over you. I'm moving on from you. I don't need you. I'll be better off without you. And then now, but they thought that that was going to get you to chase them. They thought you would chase them. They thought that that would get a reaction out of you. Um, 
I feel like you're dealing with a very inconsiderate person. This person doesn't think about how what they do and what they say affects you. All right. But now you're in this savage energy. They possibly took the wrong advice from the wrong people too. I don't know. This person has a hard time. Like when you criticize them, like even if it's constructive, they don't know how, they don't take that very well. They take that as insulting. They feel insulted when you try to, you know, um, like when you try to call this person out, they don't like that. They feel very insulted by that. Even if you're trying to like, you know, try to resolve something, they don't like that. But yeah, it's something that this person is seeing. They gather some type of information from social media. And what's that leading to? They've been stalking. To yes, look at this. No chill. Lost your ability to act rational. No regard for other feelings. Overreacting. Doing too much. Just expect, guys, for this person to come in acting a fool. I see it. They're going to come in and they're going to be losing their shit. You're probably, yeah. And But I feel like you guys are, you already know how to handle this. You already know how to handle this. Something that this person is seeing is, is cracking this delusion that they've been living in. Tell me more about this delusion. What was their delusion? They were thinking that you would be back. I swear they thought you were going to chase them. They feel like, goodness. Uh, yeah, they thought that, yeah, that, that, that you were someone that, let me work hard. Not sure. First of all, guys, they thought that you were they were gonna get some type of reaction out of you. It keeps coming out. They thought you would do what you would normally do, which I feel like was maybe you guys would try to argue with this person. Like you would feel like this person did you wrong. You would get maybe very upset, bitter, annoyed, jealous with this person, and you would come back. But <laughs> What they normally do they would normally act a fool possibly but yeah it's like but your point of view has changed on this person yeah you feel like this person baits and switches like they yeah you just have gotten this person's um Game down. You've gotten the game down that they play. Oh, goodness. They're just not getting the reaction out of you that they thought that they were going to get. What's, what's really breaking? It's something that maybe they're seeing on your social media. What's breaking this person out of this illusion? It's... Let's break them out of this illusion. I'm telling you, it's something that they've seen online. It's something about online. They tried to get a reaction out of you and it didn't work. It's very clear and they're salty. They thought that they could be prideful and arrogant. They thought that if they just stayed low key, what did they think was going to happen? They wanted you to like read their mind and... What did they think was the collector was going to do? It's just something that they're seeing. Just be aware, guys, that something that they're seeing is about to really piss this person off. What are they seeing, though? Because they watch you. What is it that they're seeing? Something that's making them feel like they're about to miss out on you. Fear of missing out. Fear of a miss, missing an opportunity. Feel pressured. Feeling pressure at choices. So now they thought that they could stay low key, but now they're about to come in and be like, all right, I have something to say. Yeah, they're going to be coming. They're going to come in. It's going to be very obvious that this person was watching you, you know, keeping tabs on you. This person thinks that like they can come back and if they like appear a certain way, that she'll just take them back. But, mm-mm. 
they're, they're coming in subtly expressing jealousy like i don't know guys i just see that you guys are not going to be entertaining this it says to change direction abrupt, abruptly you're not interested in this you're going to send somebody for a loop they're not expecting this they're not expecting like i feel like once you guys do dismiss this person they're going to feel very insulted by this they're going to start acting crazy i just see who had a reading like this taurus yeah i'm pretty sure taurus had a reading like this so you guys could definitely be dealing with a taurus Oh, goodness, dears. Insane. This person thought they had a hold on you. This very selfish person, arrogant person. They thought that, you know, they could get you to chase them. It's not working out that way or it's not going to work out that way. Just expect this person to come out of the blue being very acting crazy okay you'd be like what the hell where'd that come from all right we have the moon pisces energy yeah there's some look at the self-delusion with the card of illusions this person was super delusional tell me more seven of pentacles i think this person thought that this was something for the long term like even if it wasn't even if you guys weren't together you weren't talking you could have possibly even told this person you were done with them they still thought you were invested in them they thought that they were going to get some, like, they were going to be, that, that they could just sit back and wait and that something was just going to happen. That they were going to get a certain amount of result, results. And now they're in this nine of swords energy because what they thought was going to happen isn't happening. Um, now they're in, having anxiety. They're not able to sleep at night. They're overthinking things. They're in despair. Tell me more. Yeah, because now you're moving on. You're leaving them behind. I don't know why. Yeah, distance. There's this distance. Like, it's like the more you move on, the more they're realizing, like, okay, I was being, like, they're realizing that they were being delusional. Tell me more clarity about what they thought was going to happen. What do they think was going to happen? What do they think was going to happen? I feel like this person thought she would give in. They thought they had control over this. They thought that they could just, like, not take any action. And I feel like they thought that maybe you would. What's the Ten of Wands? The star? They didn't think this was over. I don't know, guys. Like, even despite everything that happened between the two of you, they didn't think it was over. They still had hope for this. Even though there's been a lot of stress and exhaustion and struggles between you and this person, they still thought that it was not over. They still thought that there would be some type of movement or forward um, movement, like success between the two of you. They thought that if they just stayed in control, like they thought they had control over this. They maybe like try to control you with the silent treatment or something like that. They thought this was going to start back up. I'm telling you, they thought this was going to start back up. Tell me about the high priestess. We have Aries energy. We have Pisces energy. We have Aquarius energy. We have, yeah, heavy Pisces here. Cancer. Um, I saw the earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here as well. But yeah, like, what does that have to do with them? What about the past? Yeah, so in the past, like they would normally just be able to. They're about to be disappointed. I don't know. They were waiting for something that like the past to repeat itself. That's what I'm getting from this. And it didn't happen. And they're getting jealous. They're in turmoil. They're disappointed. They're disappointed now. 